All right, so welcome back. We're gonna be going over MATLAB Mobile first. And with this app, you basically just log in. And once you log in, you can access all your files in the MATLAB drive. And what you do is you just open it. It takes a second for it to open and then you run it. It takes a couple seconds to run, but it's fairly quick. Obviously the iPad is very powerful and your graphs will pop up like this. It shows in the bottom right corner and then you can open it up nice and beautiful as you can see. And then you have your command bar, your command line right there and then all your output above that. And on the left side, you have all your code. And basically what I'm just showing you right here is that you can't have Simulink open on this because it's not supported in this app. But this app is also available on your iPhone. So if you need a quick calculation or like a derivative, something like that, you can always do that. And then next up we have MATLAB Online via Safari. And this is gonna be the best and most efficient way I think of using it on your iPad because you don't need to have a you know remote desktop because that'll be the next method actually. But over here you can see that it splits it in between like a 50-50 split kind of like how it did in the app. And then it shows your figures over to the right and your command window is on the bottom. And this has a very traditional feel to it. Obviously it's almost, it's basically a replica of the desktop app, but on the web, which is actually really helpful. And you can actually move around these windows as I'm showing you right here, kind of you, like you would on the computer, which comes in handy a lot. And it makes it feel more like a computer as well, which is really cool. And then right now I'm gonna show you how Simulink works. And, and when you open it up, there's gonna be a little bit of bugs and kind of some lags, but I think over time they're gonna be updating this platform and using it and you'll be able to use it a lot more, which is actually really helpful. I use this now as my main way of using MATLAB on the iPad, but before I would be using a remote desktop because the mobile app doesn't help me out too much because it doesn't have Simulink. And for my class last semester, I had to use Simulink a lot. And what I'm gonna show you kind of quickly on here through like a speed ramp is um, making a simple RLC circuit and just the drag and drop interface and how to drop it in. Basically very simple. You can drag and drop it, but the graphics of it don't really show up right away. It kind of lags a little bit, but it still drops in there. Um, you can also right click on there, I believe, using the mouse or just long pressing it. It'll bring up the little hidden menu. And you can also search kind of like how you would on a computer. There's a little bit of a low time here and there when it comes to these things, but I think that's expected given that it's a whole actual Windows program, but running on, on the web format, which um, still is really helpful for us iPad people, especially as your main device. This actually makes it really, really possible to use some of these engineering programs on your iPad if you're using your iPad as your main device. And obviously with the trackpad and keyboard, it really turns into a laptop feel. All right, so I'm just gonna let it kind of speed through, but um, let me know down in the comments what you think about this method and uh, if you've already been using this. I think this is a newer future as of the 2020 release of the MATLAB update, but um, honestly, I think this is gonna be kind of a game changer for me. And if they actually released the Magic Keyboard last year in the fall and I had the, the 2018 iPad back then, then I wouldn't have bought a laptop. I think I would just use this. And also there's other programs like Onshape that you can use, which will replace SolidWorks. And I can go in depth in that in a different video if you're interested. If you like the video, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you're interested in that type of video. The next method we're gonna be going over is using MATLAB through a remote desktop. And this I think was my main way of using it back when I didn't have the 2018 version and I needed to use MATLAB and I didn't have a laptop. With this one, you get the full-fledged version obviously because you do have the full-fledged app open on your computer that you're just accessing through a remote desktop. And what happens is you can use Simulink, all your files are there. You can obviously sync it through MATLAB Drive and open it up and it'll function exactly like how it would on a regular computer. And the best part is you don't have to go into the computer labs at school. You can just use your iPad. And if you have an external mouse or you have the magic keyboard, the trackpad, this is actually gonna work really well. Um, you have to get used to the app. Every remote desktop app kind of functions a little differently and takes advantage of the mouse support a little differently. So make sure whatever remote desktop app you use, you kind of get used to it before you know you need it for an assignment because otherwise you might r run into some issues and I'm just going over the same RLC circuit here too I probably should have just saved it and opened it up but we're gonna go ahead and show you that right here 
and just show you the time differences and maybe the graphic performance of it as well. This highly depends on your um, Wi-Fi speeds. If you have really slow Wi-Fi speeds, this is actually not going to be that great. And aside from the Wi-Fi speeds, the only thing else you have to worry about is if the computer itself that you're, you know, um, you're you're accessing is actually capable of handling MATLAB at good speeds. You don't really need much to run MATLAB at a good speed, but I know on the computers at school sometimes they do lag a bit just because sometimes they're a little bit older or whatnot, but um, overall I think you're going to get a very comparable experience with these, if not better, because the iPad does have a lot of power and if you have good Wi-Fi, and I think most schools have good Wi-Fi, you're going to be fine. So that's going to be it for the MATLAB review, and these are going to be the three total ways you can use MATLAB on your iPad. And um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this video and what method you use or you think that you'd be using and I love to hear that and get some feedback and like I said if you're interested in a SOLIDWORKS replacement for the iPad then let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week.